thank you every day, my father, me not take it lightly. Me afraid to trust my mind, why me that trust mankind? When I do want them, where you trust them, disappoint you all the time. You will walk out in a traffic, cause trust will make you blind. Oh, yeah. Stay strong, I'm a warrior. 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 Stay strong, I'm a Watch your step, boy. You on holy ground. They in the field. We in the spot. We can go to war. Let's see who make it out. Guys, see how you here for a reason. There's a reason why you stop by. If not you, the most high God made you stop by. Right? Woo! Right now or from last time? Last time? You was fit. You was drunk. You was a little drunk, right? Yeah. You a little fucked up, right? A but, for, lot. but there's a some lot. there's a reason why the Those Lord made you right stop last time. And today, I didn't, we didn't even remember you. I didn't even remember you. Nah, uh, hey, yeah, watch how you can't touch you. Got to today, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Right? What did you remember last time? That you was an Israelite and you're from the tribe of what? All right, do you know why it's important that you're from the tribe of Judah? Not necessarily. I don't remember if you guys told me or not, but tell me. All right, why? I got you. But do you understand, right, the severity of you not doing anything with that information that you're being provided with? It's okay. You can say, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, cool. Let me get to Romans 28, okay. verse 15. The reason why we come out here is to tell our people, right? Right? Our people, our family, our, our kindred, according to the flesh, that the reason, when you look at our people, right? Are we above or below as a majority? Right? We're, we're the ones that's being insulted. We're the ones that's killed. We're the ones gunned down in the streets. We don't have our daddies at the crib. We have self-hatred. When I look at you, I don't look at a daughter of the Most High. I gotta be ready to take a bullet for you. When you look at me, you don't look at me with any value. I'm not saying you per se, right? Our people, we don't look at each other like we like we have value. We come out here to show our people why that is and what to do to get out of that situation. Because when you look at our people, we're the most beautiful people, right? Yes, right? We're the most okay. strongest people. Perfect. The most funny people. Kai Sin is the funniest <laughs> niggas on earth right now, right? Yeah. But we have all this talent. We're still on the bottom, all right? We can't produce anything that's for us and keep it amongst us. Let's get Deuteronomy 28. The book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Bring it up. When it shall come to pass. Now, in the book of Deuteronomy, last time you were here, we went over this with you. God is speaking to our people, and he's telling them what would happen if they obey, which is listen, and what would happen if they turn around and tell God, I don't need you. Leave me alone. Let me do what I want to do, right? Now, when you look at black people, we, we agreed already. We're effed up right now, right? Yeah. So obviously, we're not doing something right in the eyes of God. Read. When it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. You hear what he's saying, right? All right, read. To observe and to do all his commandments right. and his statutes. He said, if you don't listen to me, you don't obey my rules, you don't keep my commandments, read. Which I command you this day, uh -huh. that all these curses. All these what? All these curses. Is curses a good thing or a bad thing? Now, you could probably be saying, right? Why the hell are you only singling out these people right here? Take a look at it. Well, who else do you see on this chart? See them crazy Haitians on there, right? Crazy Jamaicans, yeah. Puerto Ricans, Cubans, right? Why only these people? Let me ask you that. Why is only these people being singled out? Because God is speaking to them. He said, if you don't listen to me, these curses, these bad things are going to happen to you. They're still a minority? Is it just because they're a minority? What the hell? And because of their actions and or it, it has to do a lot with actions, but the biggest thing it has to do with is a relationship between the Most High God, the Creator of everything, and this group of people. Let me aim with three and one real quick. Now, now you before you get the tequila, you getting the spiritual tequila right now to make you feel good right now. Let me aim with three and one. Aim with three and one. Come out. I'm gonna make it quick too, okay? Aim with three and one. No matter what. Right after oh, let's go. 
Bring it up. Hear this word uh -huh. that the Lord has spoken against you. What's your name, sis? My name is yeah. Julie. Julie. Read it again. Jolie. I want you to say Jolie. 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 Say Jolie instead of um, Jolie. instead of you. Hear this word. Hear this what? Hear, Hear this, this word. word. Hear this word, mean That the Lord has spoken against spoken against you. Right. Old children of Jolie. Old old Jolie. When you hear children of Israel, he's talking about the twelve tribes of Israel. You. When you hear Israel. Jacob, the children of Israel, the children of God, is talking about you. He said, listen to what I'm saying, Jody, read. I guess the whole family. Out of everybody on the earth, all the races, all the nationalities on the earth, read. Which I brought up from the land of Egypt, read. Saying, right. you only have I known. What did he say? You, you only, only have I known. known. He said, I only know you, read. Of all the families uh -huh. of the earth, read. Therefore, he said, because I only know you, Right? Ain't nobody more beautiful than the black woman, right? Ain't nobody more stronger than the black man, right? Because I gave you all the talent, all the skill, all these blessings that make you you. You the one that make the salt on the earth. Because I gave you all of that, because I chosen you, Reem. I will punish you. What did you say? I will, I will punish, punish you. Because everybody commit crimes on the earth, right? There's Arabs that commit crimes. They get away with it. But let me go steal from Walmart. They give me 25 years to life. Right? Let you go be ratchet in the nail salon, them Chinese people gonna slam you in the, in the chair, in the, in, the, in the salon. Why? Because the Lord is not gonna let us prosper in wickedness. He's not gonna let us be up here not doing what he wants us to do. That's why we come out here to show our people the reason why we're not here, because we can't get here without doing it the way God wants us to do it, without knowing who we are. Read. I will punish you uh -huh. for all your iniquities. You're going to punish us for our what? For, for all, all your iniquities. Let's go back to what we had to do on this one So what is iniquity? He said, because I only know you, Jolie, because I've chosen you out of everybody on the earth, I'm going to punish you for your iniquities. What does iniquity mean? Take a guess. And then he said, for my doing. For your doing? What type of doing? Start with, it, with the letter S in the Bible. Sins. Sins, right? Let's get a sister round of applause. God. Now, 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 what is sin according to the Bible? Anything against God's word. Be a little bit more specific. Anything that, anything, goes against here's what? A no. little bit more, give it, give it to me a little bit more. Start with a C. Anything that that's against his... Hey, you. What you doing? You haven't subscribed yet? Man, hit that subscribe button right now. Like, comment, and share. Right. See, what is it? Anything against his commandments. Give us just a round of applause. When we break God's commandments, we're in iniquity. So he says, because he only knows you, he's gonna punish you when you break his commandments. That means you don't get a pass. Just like with your mom and dad. The other kids on the block could do what the hell they want to do. The minute they hear Jolie stole a snicker from the gas station, they try, they try, they try to fire to your ass, right? It's the same thing with the Most High God. Go back to you, that Deuteronomy 28. Come. Look at Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Bring it up! But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. and thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. I'm gonna make, well, I'm gonna make, I got you, I got you. To observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command you this day. Uh -huh. That all these curses shall come upon thee. So we already went there. All these bad things are gonna happen. Now let's find out some of these bad things. Right? Verse 47. Verse 47. Verse 47. Uh -huh. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God uh -huh. with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Now, he's saying, I know it's old English, right? He's saying, because you didn't want to be happy to serve me, when I tell you keep my commandments, you don't want to do that. When I tell you not to go murder your own people, you don't want to do that. When I tell you, make sure you dress like a, like a princess of, of the Most High God, you don't want to do that. When I tell you love you and respect your mother and your father, you don't want to do that. When I tell you keep my Sabbath day, you don't want to do that. When I tell you don't eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, you're doing a good job with that, right? But the majority of our people don't want to do that. Read. Therefore, uh -huh. thou shalt serve thy enemies. Now, what did he say? Thou, thou shalt, shalt serve, serve thy, thy enemies. enemies. Because you don't want to serve me. I'm going to make you serve people that don't like you. Right? Read. 
Thou shalt serve thy enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger. In what? In, in hunger. hunger. In hunger and in what? And in thirst. Now, when you look at these people on this chart, when they want to buy their groceries, want to go to restaurants, you look like you have an expensive taste when, you, when somebody take you out on a date, too. Right? Damn Who straight. owns? I already know. Damn, damn straight. straight. Right? Who owns those restaurants and grocery stores that we have to go to? It's other people, right? Pay attention to what the Lord's saying. Now, this is an indicator, right? Now, I'm not telling you to go be no terrorist or anything like that. I'm just trying to bring something to the forefront of your spirit, right? So the Lord said, we're going to have to go to the same people you just mentioned. Read. Uh-huh. And hunger. And hunger. And in thirst. And in thirst. And in nakedness. When you wanted to get this outfit, where you got this from? It's out for Amazon. Amazon? You got it from Amazon? Okay. Amazon. Who, who owns Amazon? Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. Is that, am I right? Yeah, I get you, the oh, market. Right. Right. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you. You got that right. You got that right. I get Jeff the Bezos. Right? Zuckerberg. <laughs> Zuckerberg. I don't know. Gucci. Elon Musk. Gucci, Louis, Prada, Nike, all the places that we go to to buy clothes, the Lord said we're going to have to go to another people at our own. Three. Uh, and in uh, nakedness. In nakedness. And in want of all things. When you want to buy a car one day, if you don't have one already, you're going to have to go to these people. When you want to buy a house, you're going to have to go to them. When you want to go to school, when you get your education, you got to go to them. Right? The Lord is speaking to you. Because we're the people that, that go. You can't go to a Haitian man and be like, yo, let me, where's your Toyota dealership? Right? Where's Jean Baptiste dealership? If I can buy me a car for my brother. You know, we don't got that. Read? No. Uh huh? And in one of all things, Reem? and he shall put a yoke so. of iron. What would he do? He put a yoke of iron. iron Read upon thy neck. The Lord said he will put a yoke of iron upon our neck. We learned this in school, right? There's a reason why this happened to our people, right? With a strong, you know, Tank Davis, who he is, right? He be knocking people out. How the hell did people like us get into slavery? These are questions we don't ask. The Lord said that they will put a yoke of iron on our necks for our disobedience to God. Read. Until he has destroyed thee. Why not? Read that again. Until, Until he, he has, has destroyed, destroyed thee. thee. Right? They gave us crack in the 80s. They gave us all these things to destroy us. Right? But, but why weren't we destroyed? Not, 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 not only that, because who was the strongest when we went to slavery? But why are we still here? Like, for example, why did you come back the second time? Because it spoke to me and I. Because she was trying to gravitate towards. Let me show you why. Let me get a uh, uh, Lamentation 321. Let me show you why. And we appreciate you stopping by. Nine times out of ten, I'm telling you, the average sister's not gonna start. They're like, man, y'all niggas will get a, go get a job. And they're gonna keep it pushing. But we respect that the fact that you stop by. Now let me hear something. Look at the Lamentations 3 and verse 21. Bring it up! This I have proposed. Verse 22. Read. It is of the Lord's mercy. It is of his what? It is of the Lord's mercy. Uh huh. That we are not consumed. The reason why you have another opportunity to come back and serve the Most High, even myself, these brothers here, the various other sisters, and because the Most High loved us so much, He really don't want us to be in a low condition. He didn't create us to be in the bottom. He created us to be on the top and be an example for the whole earth. Be that up for the sister. He created us to be an example for everybody upon the earth on how to keep the Lord's commandments under us, right? Because he loved you so much, and really, I don't want to sound like a Christian, but because he loved you so much, he gave you the opportunity to come back to him. That's why you're still here today. That's why I'm still here. Let's go back to where we was at. Let's go back to where we at. This is Deuteronomy 28. We're almost done with that. Yeah. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28 uh -huh. and verse 49. Bring it right. up. Verse 68. Last verse. I know you gotta go. Last verse, last verse. I'll make the last verse right here. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Stop. So the biggest curse that God said would happen to his people, if you were to believe in the Bible, historically you could see that this happened to any of our people. The Lord said he's gonna do what? Bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So stop. So he said he was gonna bring the Israelites into Egypt again with ships. The Israelites never went back to Egypt as a people in the Bible. In history, they never went back to Egypt. So that's not what it's talking about. You don't need ships to go to Egypt, to Israel. He's saying he would bring them back to slavery again. What was the, what was Egypt known for in the Bible? Slavery. For slavery. Because Moses had to go back and get get do what for the Israelites? Get them out of there. Because the same way we're suffering now in America, all over the earth, is the same way we were suffering in Egypt. Because those are our ancestors. The Most High God said we were going to slavery and what? 
by the way of No, in slavery and what? With shit. With what? With, With shit. shit. How did your ancestors get here? With shit. How did my ancestors get to Haiti? How did our this, this brother's ancestors get to Guyana? With shit. With ships, okay. right? Read. Just read this By the way, we're up. Uh -huh. I take a seat. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. We won't see our homeland again, because now we call America home. We call Haiti home. We call Guyana home. We call Puerto Rico, Mexico home. We call Uruguay, or Bolivia home. It's not our home. That's our prison. We was brought to in prison. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there. And there, when you hear, read. He shall be sold. One dollar, two dollar, three dollars sold. Read. Unto your enemies. Unto your what? Unto your enemies. Unto your who? Unto your enemies. Unto your what? Unto your enemies. Unto your who? Unto your enemies. For bondmen. For slave men. Read. And bond women. And slave women. Read. And no man shall buy you. Malcolm X tried. Fail. Marcus Garvey tried. Fail. Jean Jacques Dasseline tried in Haiti. Fail. Nat Turner tried. Fail. Umar Johnson is trying to do something for us. But he's going to fail. The only person that's going to save us is the, is the God that put us in this condition for our disobedience. Right. Right? And the only way for you to show him that you're tired of seeing your people in the hood, your people killing themselves, your people mistreating their women. Don't worry. He ain't going to do nothing. We'll whoop his ass if we touch you. You don't got to worry about nothing. <laughs> that's right. right. We've spiritual men up here. Right? The only way for us to get out of that is for us to show God that we're sorry by keeping his commandments. Now... What did you take from today? What did you learn today? Um, I learned about us being the higher powers and that it's up to us to get out of the situation that we're in and build our relationship with God. How? Um, by following his By keeping his commandments. What tribe are you from? Judah. From the tribe of Judah. Right? Hallelujah. This Hallelujah. day forth, right? You got to remember, you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. You must try your best to keep the commandments of God. You have the flyer. Got our YouTube. Guy, guys. Got our contact information, right? If you have any questions or concerns, you reach out to us. Oh, yeah, scan it. You have your iPhone scan it right here. All praise. You got it? Tap in. If you feel like you lost, you lost our information, we are out here every Friday at 8 o'clock, all right? Okay, perfect. All, all praise. You, you said, okay, sis? All praise. All praise. All right. He gave me the mission, I gotta fulfill it, I feel like a foe I feel his spirit within me, they dig it what's in me, I feel like a hoe Most like he gave me my lane, I'm not switching lanes, I feel like a hoe This what you call an anointing, what they be expressing, it's more like a mole hey, We at the end, where money is God and people pretend Souls willing to bend for money and power, the evil within So, I'm checking my skin, it's showing my flesh, they set up to win Yo, the most of my friend, they got it 10, y'all social events I've been fighting